Hello. I'm at the bridge, and today I will be doing three different application reviews as per a user request. I will be covering two native BlackBerry 10 applications, Photo Studio Pro and Fedica Pro. And they are both paid applications, however, Photo Studio Pro has a free one. And Vignet is not a native BlackBerry 10 application. It is an Android application in which I download I had downloaded via the Snap installer, which is like a Bla the native BlackBerry 10 Google Play client it doesn't support anything except application downloads. But you can download Android applications from there. And you can also download via the Amazon app market. And there's a few other third party sources where you can get applications and stuff. Anyways, my first app that I'm going to focus on is this one Aphetica Pro. I actually looked at this, I thought, whatever. Let's um, take a photo. Uh, right here. Why not? Okay, let me take a photo. Um, and with this, it gives you a whole bunch of options. As you can see, you can rotate it. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory as to what you can do. You just rotate the image. You can also mirror it, reverse it, etc. Get back there. You can straighten the image. I mean, if it was messed up, I guess you can kind of use it for different purposes. You can crop. I don't know what pad is. Oh, and borders. You can change the size of the image. You can mirror it. Yeah, yeah like that. <laughs> kind of funky. That's how you want to call it. That one, that's kind of interesting. Sharpness and blur, tilt, slash shift. And it's going to change how the focus point, etc. It's actually pretty interesting. And you want to. <laughs> like so auto level get to change the colors based on how you have it set and the brightness contrast gamma correction holy shit <laughs> that was like unexpected. Change exposure compensation. You can make it overexposed, underexposed. So just is really dark. You can change the area actually in which the exposure is taking place. You can add shadows, highlights, etc., etc. Levels, hue saturation, color balance, weight balance, channel mixer. You can just change the avoid GB, the, the red, green, blue. You know how it works. You can add overlays, uh, surfaces, you can add brick. Um, I guess that's what you're into. <laughs> Resize, you can save, and you can share. Okay. So that is it for Fedica Pro. The next one we'll be focusing on is Photo Studio Pro. Now this one gives you the whole host of options. You can actually change how you're doing things. Via this side menu over here, which I had actually um not really noticed earlier, I mean
You can add filters, effects, it's pretty much the same, but this one is different. It has a lot of different filters and effects that the other ones did not have. You can also download more effects over here, which I'm not. No. I'm not gonna download anything like that. Uh, you're gonna add the filters, just standard, pretty much across the board. And I'm pretty sure there's some different ones. There's vintage, effects, slow mo, general, and then there's art, and then you have more. So, and. Um, pretty much a lot of these are similar to the other ones. Uh, the effects that you can use. It adds frames. It's cute, isn't it? You like that one? <laughs> so let's just get out of there. I don't want that on there. So that app was Photo Studio Pro. And that was a native Blackberry 10 photo editor. They have a free version. I think I did state that. And we also um, have Vignette Pro. Let's get it still in progress. Earlier it cut out on me for whatever reason. This one, in my opinion, is a really great application. It's highly customizable. It's a lot of different effects. It's very customizable. That's one of the key features about this application that I can stress. However, the downside is it is not a negative. BlackBerry 10 application. This is actually the Android application, which I had purchased um, many years ago. So you can customize the filter and you can actually really go deep in the customization. And you can add a custom filter. Where is that option? Just take a quick look at whatever is here. Um, normal. Um, what's, oh, here's customizable filter. Here is like, you can change pretty much anything you want. And even then, you can add filter on filter on filter. It's like, interesting. You can add different frames. Uh, let's uh, just take a photo to illustrate that. Okay, so it did process in a timely fashion. Sometimes it takes a while, though, for it to process. And you have to kind of be patient a lot. So, rounded. Let's see. Rounded. Okay, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory. Let's change it again to convex. It's kind of a, it's kind of an obvious one, too. Let's switch French lines. Okay, that's uh, kind of not impressive. But whatever. Let's go over here to frame type. Uh, you can change the frame. You can make a standard, widescreen, panorama, etc., etc. It even has options the way you can make a Facebook cover, Google Plus cover, uh, the profile. So this one had a lot of customization and it adheres to a lot. Like, look, this is the full screen. So, I mean, it's really very customizable and you can change the frame color. You can put it, you're going to put a timestamp on. Let's do the time and date. Apply. See right there? September 1st. 2014, 6 p.m. Uh, let's just. Cheers. Oh, that's grungy. Hmm. You can. So, anyways, 
Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. There's three applications for Fedica Pro, Vignet, and Photo Studio Pro. Till next time, I'm at the bridge. Go ahead, you leave a comment. Just tell me what you want to see, and I'll see what I can do.